When Theodore Geisel came to Dartmouth in 1921, his entire Springfield past had undergone devastation. Prohibition had taken away his family business, his dad was a brewer, and World War I had resulted in antagonism to the entire German immigrant community in Springfield. Dartmouth was, for Ted Geisel, a green world, a rediscovery of something like the world he needed and dreamt of when he would go to zoo and park as a little boy in Springfield. While at Dartmouth, he became part of the Dartmouth Outing Club, which inaugurated the Winter Carnival in 1910. If you think about the images in the Lorax, the barbalutes who wear barbalut suits, the mommy swans, the humming fish, these are all creatures who leave the wilderness of Hanover during winter and there's always a fear they might not return. If you think of the character he's invented called the Lorax, who's a cross between a Paul Bunyan, a Yosemite Sam, one of the munchkins from The Wizard of Oz, that figure who speaks for the trees who have no tongues is speaking the language of the Dartmouth motto, Vox Clamantis in Deserto. And he is, by way of that motto, calling a, for the deepest instruction of the next generation. If Dartmouth as a college is a place that wants to plant seeds in every student, that can make the world they came with better as a result of learning the Vox Clamantis in Deserto. The Lorax is a Dartmouth tale.